So this is Skyrim remastered on the PS4 Pro patch 1.06 and I kind of wanted to show off some of the differences between the original PS4 and the PS4 Pro as far as the graphic fidelity and differences. And I can tell right now just by looking just in this area here and we're in Rift in that the trees, you know, a lot of the background details seem to be a lot sharper a lot more crisp not the colors seem to be a lot more vivid if you will now the mountains i'm going to kind of show a different area in here you know that a lot of the <laughs> i guess ground and and things like that definitely looks a little sharper now we are in a little bit of a haze right now so i'll probably have to wait an hour or two because we're in about early day i think the mountains personally they still kind of look really fake they really didn't turn out as well as i think i would have liked to have seen a lot of the facial details, I think, kind of look about the same. Looking for anything to sell for a fair price. But this is an older game that they remastered and then did a patch on the remaster, so you can't really blame them. I think that one turned out a little Need better. I think the human faces look about the same to me. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to wait just a few hours, and we'll go ahead and see these mountains probably clear up. And here we are after we wait, we can kind of see the mountains there in the background. I might have to go get many Is there to a different area to kind of really get the feel. To me, they look like really fake. They look kind of drawn in. They kind of have that fake wash over look in, in, in a way. Let's go ahead and go to a different area where we might be able to see these a little better. And I tell you what, we'll go to White Run. We'll go ahead and see my house, my family, <laughs> introduce you to everybody. Now I'm going to leave this loading screen up just because I like to show the differences between the loading times in case you are interested, you know, between the PS4 original and the PS4 Pro. To me, they're about the same, maybe slightly quicker. We'll go ahead and go. I, I tend to leave all my all my crap around here. I was trying to get a skill up to 100, and it seemed to me the fastest one I was able to do is the armor skill, so I just kind of left all this stuff here because I couldn't carry it all. And all the all the merchants like ran out of gold. I had so much stuff I was trying to sell. But What are you looking at? I'm not afraid of you, you know? So this is at nighttime, and I found that most of the time, games at night tend to not look as well. And it's just because it's dark, you know, normally to get the full brightness, you know, the vividness of the, all the colors, the bright, you know, midday kind of thing is usually one of the best times to do that at. But this still looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and walk around in here. This is white one. Uh, excuse me. It is white run here again. I ain't done nothing. Looking for my husband, Nazim. Check the Jarl's backside. You know, a lot of the trees, a lot of the buildings look a little sharper, but like I said, it's, it's tough to really truly judge this game because it's been a, good a game that was made in 2011 remastered a few years ago from that and then ps4 pro patch on top of that so it wasn't really specifically made you know for for example horizon zero dawn you can kind of get the feeling that it was more made for the ps4 pro it's a much newer game much newer engine well here's my house this is the breeze house that you go into i ended up marrying the girl from the riverwood trader here and just kind of a tip if you haven't gone into a marriage in this game anybody that says you know it's a good day with you around you know and always is saying stuff like that if you go back to Riften where we just were there's actually a church and you can get the ring of Mara and then you present that ring to the person that you want to marry in the game uh, I actually adopted this gal right here she's probably gonna ask for money could you give me an allowance uh, here's 500. You're the best. Thanks. As she... <laughs> I have so much gold at this point, it really doesn't even matter. But yeah, I ended up marrying her. We'll go ahead and take a look at some of my kind of stuff in my trunk up here. I haven't really built a house in this particular game. I did in the PS3 version, but I never really... This is one of those games that I found that I love to play through it, and then all of a sudden... You know, I do everything that you can in the game, and then I'm like, ah, oh, I don't really want to play this ever again because I like put so much time into it. <laughs> so my damage down there is I'm doing 96, and as you can see right now, 
I do a lot more damage than any of these other, I guess, weapons, if you will. <laughs> but I'm just kind of showing. I do. I did get the Waba Jack. <laughs> I got a lot of cool stuff in here. I'll just kind of show some of that stuff. But um, I wanted to mention real quick too. I, I was able to get the platinum in this game, and one thing I ran into issues with was the oblivion walker trophy and i noticed there was very few people that had that trophy it's not very hard in itself you just have to go and make the right decisions when you're doing the quest for the daedric princes and, and princesses i guess if you will and i noticed during one of them it's it's the guy named her and it's the one where you have to go and free a werewolf and like help him out my my best tip to you is leave him like let him live go turn in the reward to the Daedric guy. I think he gives you a ring. Go back after you completed the quest and kill the werewolf and you actually get two oblivion. Now you only need 15 for the quest, but the problem is in order to get all of them, apparently I needed to get 16 for the trophy to unlock. So it's a little glitch. I'm not sure if they actually patched that yet, but I just wanted to kind of mention that. Let's go ahead. Here's an animal. Let's go ahead and see that one kind of looks about the same. Yaks are kind of known throughout the Nord territory. They kind of provide a lot of the meat and milk, it says in the thing. I'm going to go ahead and wait again, and then we're going to take a look at these mountains, and I'll show you what I'm kind of talking about. So here we are. It's about midday after we waited for just a few hours. I work with my mother to sell fruits and vegetables. And you can kind of see over here, a lot of the, I guess, the foliage, the flowers, you know, the trees and, and things like that really turned out really really well a lot of the background details and i've been finding that more and more with these games is that these developers are putting a lot more what seems to be effort into the background details making that look a lot more sharper too but as you can see here and i'll show you a more close-up of the mountain but i to me the mountains just did not really turn out like over here they, they literally look fake where my crosshair is right now it looks like somebody just kind of drew with a gray like marker <laughs> on those but that's probably the worst aspect. I think that the, the cloud details look a little better. The, the sky. It's definitely a lot brighter. And I don't know. I, I actually did a little study, I guess, like a little test. Because <laughs> I was playing Bioshock Infinite. And it was like ungodly like bright. And not in a bad way. But the colors were just so vivid. That I actually ended up turning off the HDR into my... TV and to see if there was any difference and it was just like oh my gosh like I don't know the HDR just really makes a difference it just really like bam <laughs> with these colors so I don't know if that's going to show up it does say when you stream a lot of times that those effects sometimes don't end up coming through but well, let's go to a different area here I'm going to take you to one of the DLC packs I don't think that particular one turned out I think that one actually looks a little worse, but I'll let you be the judge. Kind of show some of the castle details. Like overall, I think, you know, definitely sharper, more brighter. I, I've noticed a lot of these games end up being a lot brighter during the daytime. But we'll go ahead and load that game and we'll see what that DLC pack looks like. So here we are on the island of Soulsteam. You actually, it's one of the DLC packs called Dragonborn. And you end up arriving on this island over here and. It's, it, it starts because these weird people end up attacking you and they have these crazy masks. You know, they, you gotta, you get the feel that they're from like a cult you and you're like, why are they attacking me? Well, I come on this island and there's like a big haze, like a real brownish type of haze. And that was not in the original patch. And so this one, I, I'm not sure if they meant to do that. They got my attention. I kind of want to see what's in the abandoned building now. <laughs> You know, nothing special in here. I mean, probably looks about... I don't know how well you can make this type of brick really look, though. <laughs> There's always creepy and, and weird stuff that happen in abandoned buildings in this game. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, but I'll take you through a little bit of this quest just to show you some of the DLC. And our, and our mission oh, here, I'll go ahead and pull that up. is to reach the Temple of Mirak. And 
as you can see there, we're, we're trying to find out why people have attacked me basically on behalf of this, I guess, temple or this person that they worship here on the island. Now, I ended up playing this game quite a bit and ended up not really finishing the DLC packs. I was just kind of burnt out from from getting <laughs> through the whole game. Like I said, this is not one of those games that I tend to do a whole bunch of different gameplays of i know i know some people the the people that i know that do several playthroughs and it's not a knock against them but i just i've noticed that they they blow through the main campaign is that a bad guy what the hell <laughs> uh, but they blow through the main campaign hardly do any of the side quests and they're like oh that was really cool now i want to be an argonian so they kind of you know play with different characters and things like that i end up what i personally do through this is i actually play the entire game, side quests, every little minute detail that you can possibly do in this game. And then I'm like, Ugh, I don't know if I can play like any more of this game. Because <laughs> I just do everything you possibly can. So I do have a really cool set of armor, and I'm going to show you that just in a minute after I get done with this quest. I'm going to try to show off the frames per second. That's kind of my goal with doing the combat right here. you can kind of see let me go ahead and crouch here I turn black whenever I crouch and the reason why is you actually get this really cool this is one of the armor sets you get from oblivion walker let me go ahead and pull that up and it's this ebony mail right here and as you can see the value nobody in in all of Skyrim would pretty much have money to buy this but as people get close they actually take five points of poison damage per second it's probably the best armor you'll ever get my mask is actually the mask of clavicus vile it's another item from the oblivion walker let me pull that one up too <laughs> if i can find all the other stuff i mean i pretty much got some of the best stuff in the game. The cool thing is, is that it covers my face with this like metal. How you see out of it, I don't know. <laughs> uh, the cool thing is, is I get the, you know, Magicka, you know, Price is Better, Speechcraft, so it's really helpful for that. And I kind of want that armor. I don't know why. Uh, I do have a lot of carrying weight. One of the armor pieces I have and one of the actual one of these standing stones that you actually get actually gives you more weight as well. So at this point, I really don't, I don't really pick up a whole lot unless it's like something I don't have. I don't have this armor set, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this. It looks kind of cool. <laughs> I always pick up like a thousand things and I never end up using them. I just kind of keep them in a chest and I guess show people. <laughs> All right. I think that was a trap. It's a trap. And even here, as you can kind of see, to me, that just, it doesn't really look that great. It kind of looks fake. The mountains I'm talking about here, especially over here, it just looks like very cartoonish. And, and given that this isn't the type of game, this isn't like a Borderlands type of graphics, this isn't that type of game, I guess I was disappointed in that regard. That's kind of cool. It's like dragon bones over here. <laughs> so here's the temple that we're supposed to go to here. And when the world shall listen. Now how I get in here, let's try this over here. <laughs> and when the world shall and when the world Osma, please! You must listen to me! Isra, I you there. What brings you to this place? Why are you here? So you can kind of see even the facial, like I was saying before, the facial details. I think the hair. I don't think those really turned out as well as I would I would have liked. But I am Freya of the Sky. I, don't know. I am here to either save my people or avenge them. I am unsure. Something has taken control of most of the people of Solstein. It makes them forget themselves and work on these horrible creations that corrupt the stones. 
the very land itself. My father Storm, our shaman, says Mirak has returned to Solstein, but that is impossible. What by day was stolen. Then you and I both have reason to see what lies beneath us. Let us go. There is nothing more I can do here. The tree stone and my friends are beyond my help for now. <laughs> we need to Don't find mind us, we're just having a conversation. His story is as old as Saul's time itself. You must leave this place! Gee, like people and this was this was actually the cultist that I was talking about earlier and they came and just attacked me they have this crazy looking masks really cool looking I want to pick up I thought that was a staff there usually staffs are very very valuable and very light I've picked up some that are worth, you know, 8,000, you know, things like that. Once again, it's one of those things, even if you invest in each of these stores, you'll never be able to sell like that armor I have. I don't, I don't think there's anybody in Skyrim that could afford to buy that. It's usually about 2,000 gold they'll usually have after the investment. Not sure why I had that. I... I think I was just trying to level up that skill or something like that. So in Skyrim, the way you level up is you level up individual skills and you level up enough of those and then you get um, an actual level up where you can do your like your health, stamina, you know, so on. I'm not much of a magic type of player myself. I, I just don't find that kind of character class. I don't find that kind of combat very fun, I guess. That's just me personally. I'm usually kind of a hit him in the face with a mace. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. So this is kind of the cave, as we can see in here. Really a, about the same I, is from what I remember from the actual remaster version. Not much difference actually in here. Some of the some of the lit areas that we're seeing in here, I think, turned out a little better. But I gotta be the armor almost is a little bit on the cheating side in a way. It's kind of like they get too close and like they automatically just kind of die here's us here's a staff i was talking about they usually don't weigh too terribly much this one's kind of garbage though <laughs> we must be careful in these rooms traps can be anywhere and there will likely be normally i i go through everything and just kind of pillage but at this point i have so much money it doesn't really matter <laughs> well this area looks delightful like an area I want to spend a lot of time in. <laughs> Let's see. Who are the poor soul trapped in these cages? What tortures did they suffer at Mirak's hands? Was it in service to the dragons or for his own purposes? Look up there. I think I see something. Oh, they were behind me. <laughs> that guy was already dead. It made it seem because they had the health bar right there. I was like, what the heck? It's kind of cool, too. You know when the enemies are, like, getting that poison effect because they turn that deep black just like your armor does. I mean, it's just really cool. Oops. I almost killed her. Do not sneak up on me. <laughs> So I wanted to show this is the final part of Temple of Mirak, and there's a lot of really good graphic kind of displays that are going to be showing, and I wanted to kind of just show that off before the end of this video. So, so you have slain Alvin. Well done. I could have slain him myself back when I walked the earth, but I chose a different path. You have no idea. Of the true power a dragon boar can wield. This 
realm is beyond. You have no power here. And it is only a matter of time before Sol's time is also mine. I already control the minds of his people. Soon they will finish building my temple, and I can return home. Send him back where he came from. He can await my arrival with the rest of Tamriel. God, what the hell is that thing? <laughs> I guess they just hit you until you pass out. <laughs> read the book and then it seemed as though you were not really here I could see you but also see through you where where is he can we reach him can we kill him this is a dangerous thing then we should return to my village and show this to my father perhaps Thorn can make sense of what is going on Come, there looks to be a way out through here. So that's pretty much the Temple of Mirak kind of mission that we were kind of going through. I hope that was kind of helpful. Wanted to show off a lot of the different graphic aspects uh, throughout the game. I hope this was helpful, and thanks for watching.